There's a lot of different ways to set up a, a raised bed garden and uh, becoming very, very popular. And it's a wonderful way to take a unusable area of your yard. Maybe it's really rocky or you got really heavy clay soil or it's got a slope to it. You'd never be able to use it for anything else. You, know, you can terrace that slope and put in a raised bed garden or you can take that rocky soil that would take forever for you to condition and put a raised bed right over the top of it and fill it with the soil that you want. So it's a, it's a very effective way to, to build a, a wonderful soil for gardening. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. You know, we've, we've got uh, these really nice decorative metal corners that you can use to, to make a raised bed with, with redwood or with cedar. And you would go out and you would buy the lumber for your redwood and then the pieces fit together just almost like a puzzle so they'll just they'll just slide inside there and uh, if there's holes in the back side on the brace where you can just screw those in and so in a very short amount of time you can you can take redwood or cedar uh, those are probably going to be your best bets for for wood materials to, to build a raised bed with because they just they just last a lot longer they're more weather resistant but you can just like pop some screws in here nice nice simple easy way to do it and uh, we, we don't have the lumber here at Anderson's but we do have these these nice decorative corners and uh, they're pretty inexpensive and make it really easy so you, you don't have to worry about trying to figure out how to join them together and have them be be uh, you know too flexible and, and not really hold your soil in because if you don't attach them together properly all of a sudden your beds bulging because of the weight of the soil and the water that's in there so great way to do it but the, the redwood and the cedar can get very very expensive and so we found a very inexpensive option here at Anderson's uh, for a raised bed and and they're they're amazing it's these uh, concrete blocks and they come from Richfield block down in Richfield Utah and uh, they're they're made eight feet eight and a half feet by five and a half feet and by 16 inches tall and they're concrete blocks and they they go together very simply very easily you can get a decorative cap that goes over the top or you can leave it exposed and a lot of people will even put soil down inside these holes and you can have some flowers or you know something cascading out of the holes as well too so you can you can be very creative however you do it whether you put the decorative cap on or not but uh, price wise that's an amazing price we sell them every day for $140 49 dollars and when it comes down to it you'd have a hard time buying that much redwood and, and that much cedar to make a raised bed of a similar size for about the same price and then you have to do all the work to, to, to put it together and the redwood and the cedar just won't last nearly as long as these concrete blocks will uh, you're, you're looking at 25 to 30 years out of a raised bed like this very decorative very attractive you never have to treat the wood you never have to protect it it's just going to last for a long time and uh, very, very inexpensive, a great way to do it. And like I said, they look, they look really good. We recommend that you use a raised bed garden mix like this. This one's from Cache Valley. This is the Miller's Raised Bed Box Mix. Excellent way to put some wonderful soil into your raised bed. We use the box mix about half and half with a good topsoil mix as well too. Don't use topsoil out of your garden. Use a topsoil that has been sifted and cleaned and prepped for, for using in, in a, a garden situation. So we'll use about 40% uh, topsoil and about 60% of the raised bed mix. And when you mix it together, uh, the consistency is really nice. It's not too light and fluffy. It's not too heavy. It's, it's just about perfect. And it really does a great job at, uh, at putting the soil and putting the nutrient that you need into your raised bed to get things started. If you wanted to add a little bit more of a, a nutritional value type organic matter, then we definitely recommend the soil building compost from, uh, from Garden & Bloom. Uh, it's a finely ground redwood bark. It's been composted with poultry manure, bat guano, worm castings, kelp meal. It's got beneficial microbes and mycorrhizae in there. This is just one of our favorite ingredients to add into a raised bed. And so you'd use about oh, 20 to 25% of this in place of you know part, part of the topsoil or part of the, the raised bed mix. But this will put a little bit more nutrient value back into your raised beds. And it's something you can add to it every year as, uh, as the soil kind of shrinks a little bit. You'll be, 
you'd be able to add some of the soil building conditioner into that to, uh, to, to boost the nutrient value of your soil again. Uh, nice thing about the raised bed blocks, they come in all these different colors. So you have a lot of different choices in colors. Uh, these are just little bullet stones that you use for, for edging, but it's a nice sample of the different colors that are available. So when you come in, you could order one of any color and we can get different uh, sizes as needed but uh, this particular size runs about $149. You can get it in all these different colors and there are a couple different styles to, to choose from if you want to do something different and you can also always add the decorative uh, caps on top to, to just complete the, the raised bed. So here at Anderson Seed and Garden we've got some great options for you for uh, setting up a new raised bed garden and uh, just gardening like a pro.